Hey everybody, so today we have here the A1419. This is the late 2012 Retina iMac. Now, as you can see here, the screen is pretty cracked up in the corner here. Uh, it does turn on, but the screen doesn't work. So, fortunately, we do have to remove the screen. And on these models, it is very difficult. They usually put adhesive that goes all the way around here. And that's the only way to do it is to pretty much remove the adhesive and if you have a screen that isn't cracked it is a lot more difficult. Fortunately we do have a cracked one here in an unfortunate situation so we can just kind of remove it. We can go about our time removing it. It is very difficult actually. Um, it is all glue all around it so if you need to even replace a hard drive this is kind of another way to do it too. We're going to be showing you kind of just how to open this and you have to be very careful that go all the way around. Um, if you do need to replace anything that's in the iMac itself, like a hard drive or anything else, this would be a great tutorial to show you how to even get started on any of that. If you want to make your life a lot easier, um, it would be best just to heat the whole way across. And it'll, what, the, what the heat's going to do is going to loosen up the adhesive here, so it makes it much more easier. And this method, um, this method should work pretty much for any of the later iMacs too. Um, anything that has the, the adhesive on, I know it goes at least to late 2012, which um, has a retina screen. All the retina screens and all the A1419s, they should all pretty much work the same way. Um, I do know the 5K one is very similar too. Um, it's just the adhesive again, just the, the, the work, the amount of work on the adhesive should be the same throughout each um, the glass. So now the only thing is the differences would be where the cables are located. So um, in this particular model, we do have the cables along this side. There should be a few of them that are going on along this side over here. Otherwise, it should be good all the way across. Um, if you have a cracked screen, this should be a lot more simpler in a, in a way. You won't have to put the screen back after you remove it um, because this is very difficult. It's very easy to chip. So let's get to it. So let's just make sure we heat the whole entire iMac. And since this is a lot of heat, um, the glass is attached to the LCD. So if you do have to, if you're just replacing like a hard drive and you just want to remove the screen, be very careful about putting too much heat close to the, the LCD here because you will get a little bit of a burn mark there. Okay, now it's much looser. You can see how it's easily, this slides now. I'm getting very confident here because I can feel it all the way up. It's a little bit more tighter at the top but this is a really good sign. I'm gonna go get a little pick here, which will make it a little bit easier. So I'm gonna do a straight edge. Especially if you're using a tool like this, um, just be really careful, you don't wanna go in too far. You just wanna go in, I would say, not even a half inch, just a little bit less than that. But we should be fine. Just keep going up and down here. We're just loosening the adhesive. That's all we're doing for now. So you can see the gaps come in a lot and you can kind of push up. You can really feel it. There's a big tug, but there's a huge gap now. And for this, what you want to do is you want to be really careful because there's connections there. All right, so there's a few cables here. You just want to be careful of um, that I can see. I see two. So there's one up. I can see two. There's one here and there's one here. Alright, if you're born with three hands, then this should be pretty easy for you. But unfortunately, the rest of us have to struggle. And there you go. So this one you just take up. You can just lift up. Be very careful when you pull it. It looks just like this. 
It's one of those type of connectors you can just lift up. You can lift by the edges here. If you get your fingernail underneath it, you can just pull up. And this other one should have a latch. So I want to, sorry, it's kind of hard to show you guys, but it's, there's a little flap. Okay, I lifted up the little bar and then we're gonna lift up. Okay, and this is kind of what it looks like. So you wanna make sure you lift up this flap like that and then you just, you can pull straight up. Don't go to the left, don't go to the right, pull straight up. All right, so that's all the cables I see here. So those look pretty clean. Now I do know we will need to lift the bottom part up. So now I'm gonna lay it flat again. And I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm a nurse at a hospital with this thing. Just keep lifting the patient up and then putting it back down, lifting it back up, putting it back down. Be really gentle, be very careful. So now what I wanna do is I wanna take off this thing completely, but it's still glued. So I do know the, the main way to get to it is through the bottom. I think the best way is just to get the tool and go this way after you lay it pretty flat. And there you go. Whoop. There you go. So this is your finished product, it looks good. Um, of course it's already cracked, so there's not much you can do. But it doesn't seem like it's too bad um, to remove it. I actually thought it was gonna be a bit worse. To pop it up, and here's a hard drive right there. If you want to remove that, um, I believe you need to remove one of the, sp the speaker here if you wanna to get to the hard drive. I'm gonna go see if this does work, this new screen. Um, we're just going to plug it in and make sure it's good because we don't want to put the adhesive on and then test it after. So let's see if it works. All right, so we did get it to work. It's great. The screen doesn't work. It looks fantastic. Um, we did leave a little bit of tape here just to hold it for now, just to test it, just to make sure everything is working fine. But it does look great. It runs well. Um, that's the most important thing, especially for the screen replacement, is to make sure that there's no dead pixels, there's no lines. You want to make sure everything's good. Um, we just want to make sure we test it overnight so it does look good. Um, now what we can do is the real fun part and that's to take off the adhesive all the way around and then right after that we're going to put back on the regular adhesive and then put on the screen and once you put that screen on there's no going back so that's why we definitely want to make sure that everything is tested and works very well and it looks like it does so far so we're confident and we're just going to go put everything back. We're just going to go take off all the adhesive and then put everything back. All right, so since it's good now, we just want to take the adhesive off. And we're going to go all the way around. All right, so we're going to take the adhesive off round, and this, this should be good. If you can just peel it off, it should be pretty simple to peel. This is just one long piece over here. Now we also have the bottom. We want to make sure we take up whatever's left from the bottom because most of it was still on the screen though, but if you want to make your life a lot easier, try to get one that does come with adhesive strips and they actually fit perfectly. So they're kind of going to look like this. They just kind of go all the way along. They're already fitted. Um, you can use like 3M or anything uh, pretty strong. But um, I do recommend trying to get something that does already have it. It'll just make your life easier. So let's do that. Let's just put it on.
I want to do this right. I want to make sure this is all secure. So I actually just want to connect it before I do anything else. That includes even adhesing it. So I just want to connect it here so that I can make it easier for myself later. So I'm just going to hold this up and just connect it. Just double check this power on real quick. It's always good to double check, you know, it's, it's a lot of extra steps, but it's totally worth it. Like, I'd rather be safe, you know? Let's make sure the screen turns on. And it kind of looks like it's, if you see the flaps on the top here and the bottom, it kind of looks like um, that's kind of how they want you to do it anyway. You should probably put it on first. Maybe I'm going to loosen this up. I'm going to do the bottom adhesive first. But let's see, the screen came on. I just want to make sure it comes on all the way. And once I see that, I'll be good. And then I'll just uh, seal it up. Our app logo. All right. So we're good. Now all I need to do is um, just adhesive it. So I'm going to take the bottom ones off first because those are the red tabs. I just assume those are going to be first, actually. And then you can see the tabs up here on the top, on the side over here. Those are probably should just make it very easy for me to tear it off. I'm very fortunate I got a pretty good uh, pair here. So so since we have it down actually looks good now I got the bottom piece so let's flip it up of course be careful because it's not totally adhesive All right, Apple logo came on, looks great. Hope you guys enjoyed watching the A1419. This is the late 2012 Retina. Um, it's the one that's adhesed to the glass to the back there, but it pretty much counts for any of the ones 2013, 2014, 2015. Um, it can go even up a little bit further than that, probably closer to the 2017s as well. Um, it's the same type of work. You do have to take off the adhesion because the glass is adhesed on all the models from after late 2012. As you can see, it is a lot of work. Um, there's a lot of delicate work to it, too. Um, a lot of adhesion, um, even putting it back, just disconnecting the cables. Um, there's not a lot of room to actually go underneath the base there for it to hold. So sometimes it's very easy to drop it. So that's why um, I would recommend getting two people if you really can, if you're really trying to do this. Um, you always need for Apple products, for a lot of these, you need at least three hands to do certain things, especially if you've seen the tablets or mainly anything adhesed because there's always little traps um, underneath, like cables attached. Um, if you ever do these type of, try to get the hard drive replaced, make sure you fix anything in there while you're doing the screen. If you don't have a solid state drive, please get one. It does make a big difference, as you can see later. Just putting in even an extra few hundred bucks instead of doing the screen all over again is always definitely a way to go. Um, but I hope you enjoyed, so thanks a lot for watching. Bye.